Yo, what up YouTube Sherman Expert here bringing you all another video. Now today we have another interesting Reddit story. And if you all are new, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, support YouTube channels like this because once again, YouTube will try to unrecommend these videos to you all. So your support, any type of interaction on these videos is much appreciated. Diving right into the story, it's being told from a woman's point of view. She's a 29 year old female and the guy is 29 as well. And they're longtime online friends, more than likely gaming buddies, somewhere along those lines. And he actually traveled to visit her for two weeks and she is now regretting it completely. So jumping into it, she starts by saying, I met this friend over two years ago and we're finally meeting in person for the first time. He came on Sunday and will be staying for exactly two weeks. The thing is, I'm not having fun at all. She goes on to say, I'm clinically depressed and having a pretty bad episode at the moment, so having to pretend I'm fine is hard. I took seven days off hoping to recover, but it has become clear that I won't have the chance to while he's here. Let me start off by saying this. I can already see where this is going. More than likely, she used him as a emotional crutch. By that, I mean while she was going through her depression episodes, he was the guy that she spoke to in order to basically ease her pain. He was essentially her medication. All right, a lot of these quote unquote friend guys. They're basically being used by women when they're in a pretty rough spot. And I'm more than positive if she wasn't going through her depression phase, quote unquote, she wouldn't have even talked to the guy. He wouldn't even have been her friend for two years. You're only their friend depending on how down bad they are. They put you in the friend zone because they need someone to listen to their shit. Don't get me wrong. If she's going through depression, so on and so forth. Okay, cool. I understand it. Everyone goes through it. But for this guy to travel internationally to see her while she's going through depression, it's just a sign of someone being a crutch versus someone being an actual friend. And we're going to go ahead and continue reading this story here. She then goes on to say, the worst part, however, is him. He has been sleeping on my couch since Monday, doing absolutely nothing except watching Netflix. I worked from Monday through Wednesday and was thinking he'd go out and explore, but he never did. In fact, he never even figured out what to eat. I've had to figure that out for him as well. Now that I'm officially on vacation, I've asked him what he wants to do and encouraged him to look some stuff up, but he wants to leave it all to me. He then even goes on to say, he doesn't even know how to make mac and cheese, which is pretty funny in my personal opinion. And she also says, I'm at my wits end. What is expected of me here? Does not planning his meals make me a bad host? He came here to meet me. Sure, but right now I feel like a grown man's babysitter. This is another very interesting story and it just goes to show they want a leader. They want that Chad. Now, when she was talking through him, using him for attention and validation she actually did find him at least somewhat cute in a sense so when she figured out that hey he would be willing to come visit her across the world she just wants to kind of test drive things now when she realized that this guy was complete beta once again she thought he was somewhat cute all right at least maybe she was even gonna throw him some ass for all i know right um because it, it kind of sounds like when she was asking him stuff that she kind of wanted to see if he would take charge because she saw potential at least somewhat. And don't get me wrong, it's a very small chance that being a woman's crutch could work out for you. It's so minuscule that there's no point in even acknowledging it is what I'm saying. So she probably assumed like, hey, maybe this guy could be this type of person that I need in my life, but then he just completely dropped the ball because he's big enough. She thought that this guy would be as quote unquote, socially equipped as he would be when they talked online and that's just not the case some guys are better at texting than they are at talking to a woman in person he's one of those he's good at getting conversations with her or at least being her crutch but then she realized yo this guy's kind of boring i thought he was you know at least somewhat cool don't get me wrong i still kind of see him as beta 
but I want to see where things go, see if he takes charge, so on and so forth. Maybe I throw him some ass. But him not even being able to essentially find anything interesting for himself to do just shows a lot. So she was completely dried up at that point. And him being on the couch, you guys got to understand, you cannot be lazy when it comes to a woman. You can't. You being comfortable, because that's what he was. That's more than likely what he does on a daily. He just sits on the couch and watches Netflix and eat. And he assumed that she would be okay with that. But in the inside, she's like, eh, what the hell is going on? So she wanted this guy to essentially be this sporadic, whatever the fuck, unicorn, all right, while she's using him. And it just amazes me that a lot of men don't have this self-awareness because we have to learn through pain and hardship. That's how we grow as men. So this was a very interesting one. Once again, I still do think the woman is still in the wrong because this guy, he doesn't sound like he's a bad person. He just sounds like he's just so unaware of female nature. And she's viewing him as just a horrible person to a certain extent, just a lazy bum. So she's not attracted at all. She used this guy. He flowed out to see her. And now nothing's that they're probably not even going to be friends anymore because the situation is more than likely so awkward. He doesn't know what to do. She wants them to do something. Just complete chaos, folks. Other than that, let me know what you all thought down below in the comment section. This has been your number one expert for all things. We're bringing you all another red pill video. Peace.